Hello guys, this will be another video from Androidica and in this video I'll be making a combined review of two things. Firstly the Pac-Man ROM which is also a combination of the three ROMs, the three custom mods available now in the market and also the review for the Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Now this device is now running currently 4.1.2 Jelly Bean which I'll be showing you in a minute. So first I'll start by reviewing the Pac-Man ROM. Now the Pac-Man ROM is in a combination of three different ROMs. Well, the three different custom ROMs available in Android. Firstly is P which stands for Para and Paranoid ROM which I have reviewed earlier. A stands for the AOKP ROM which is another JB ROM custom ROM and the C stands for a well known Cyanogen mod ROM. So the three combined it makes up the Pac-Man ROM. Now to be true I was pretty excited about this new ROM that it combines three different things however as it turned out it's quite usual and there's nothing interesting about it at all. So to get started it is standard Jelly Bean as you can see 4.1.2 is the latest iteration to the Jelly to the Android operating systems. It has a few new tweaks which I'll be showing you in a minute. So let's get started with the lock screen. The lock screen is usual. There's a date, time and the date and there's a lock button which you can swipe to the left for camera, right for unlock and on the top for Google Now. So I'm getting a call, I'll just dismiss that. Okay. So when we unlock, we come into the home screen, which is again pretty usual. You have your four button to four shortcut buttons over here with the app drawer in the middle. You have I have four icons for four shortcut icons for applications over there. That's my Google search bar. And currently I have set it to three different home screens. And I have widgets over there, like that's a power control widget and that's the weather widget. Now this ROM is pretty much stable. As you can see there's no lag in the animation. Well my back button doesn't work properly so it's not a lag. Actually as you would have seen I was using on screen buttons in my last three videos. As you can see there's no stutter or lag in the OS, I mean in the UI as you can see. There's zero lag. However as you can see I'm running a live wallpaper and as I can see that it doesn't even slow down the phone at all a bit however if you install too many applications and if you make the phone memory quite full then your phone will start to slow down which is quite a drawback for this phone not this ROM to be specific so as you can see there is no lag at all neither is there in the application drawer now if you have been using CM9 or any Jelly Bean you OS on this device you'd notice that when you touch the app drawer button it gives a nice vibration feedback which is pretty good you also get that on the dialer over here there you go you get nice vibratory feedback on pressing the buttons over there now let's get over to settings and show you that this device is running 4.1.2 Jelly Bean OS okay so I'll just go down to about phone over there and there you can see Android version 4.1.2 that's a nice thing Android has added over there there you go it will give the Jelly Bean animation for you okay now you can press and hold it to get another different kind of animation there you go which is actually quite nice okay so as you can see so this is a pac-man rom so as i said it combines the power of three different roms the cyanogen mod the aokp and the paranoid rom so from the paranoid rom you have the para and paranoid settings over there and from the aokp rom you have the rom control over there so you get the power of all the three roms inside one and also from the cyanogen mod you get these three settings like the launcher lock screen themes and the system settings as you would get with any other cm9 rom cm10 rom i'm sorry but this is cm10.1 this is Para Android 2.53 and this is AOKP Build 5 included in this release 5 of the Pac-Man ROM. As you can see, however, there are three drawbacks like your tethering won't work, your native tethering, your portable Wi-Fi wi hotspot won't work as it was indicated on the XDA page. I didn't try it myself. So, it has standard Paranoid settings. Android settings as you can see, launch, interface, apps, tools, help and about all the things etc now I've been requested to make a video on how to tweak the paranoid settings to customize your apps 
So I'll be making one in the next video of mine how to tweak the paranoid settings and also how to take tweak the ROM control settings of the AOKP ROM altogether. Now to get started over here with this thing you can see there is a new notification drawer over there you have nightly notification or the notification area buttons over there you have your standard date and time over there the settings button and the clear all notifications button over there which appears only when you have such notifications now what I really like about Jelly Bean is this paper roll kind of effect with the notification drawer is really cool and much better than the standard Android animation as you can see when you roll down you can't see the status bar which is standard jelly bean and I also like this feature however the drawback with this ROM again is the camera unlike CM9 the panorama and the video recorder works over here but however you get faded pictures I mean the colors are faded which is really a deal breaker for this ROM now so if you are looking for a good camera and a stable camera I hope you'll go with CM9 however there also you won't get a working video camera and a panorama mode neither either so this does support video playback however there is a little stutter in video playback which is noticeable at certain intervals so the video playback still needs improvement on this ROM otherwise it's all fine you can open up the gallery over there there you go it's a gallery app there is a certain lag I mean it takes a bit of time to load up the pictures especially if you have a lot of pictures in a certain album like let's rotate it and open up an album that may contain a lot of pictures there you go it has 33 you see it takes some time to load up the preview of the pictures over there however everything else is standard jelly bean over here like okay there's some lag now I hope these things will be fixed in the future releases of this ROM okay there you go you can swipe through okay there's a lot of lag over there didn't experience it before anyway okay okay so there the phone got hanged in a bit so now back to the video like that's more all about this ROM pretty much and there's nothing new as I say there was nothing exciting in the combination of the three ROMs you just get in the settings you get the ROM control from the AOKP ROM you get the cyanogen mod settings and you get the paranoid settings paranoid android settings from the paranoid ROM so there's nothing new in the combination of the three however you get the Jelly Bean 4.1.2 with this ROM which is pretty cool now you also get the CM 10.1 which comes with four Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 so if you don't need the three kind of settings on the phone together you can go for CM 10 I guess it's more stable than this ROM however this ROM is pretty stable also for daily use now let's come back to the review for the Jelly Bean operating system now as I have said before this is Android 4.1.2 and it's pretty cool like there's not much new additions in this version of the Android there are few minor UI changes especially in the notification area so let's go over to the notification area as you see I have two notifications over here I have a whatsapp message and four text messages so what I can do really is I can use a two finger gesture over there to pull down the notifications to expand it okay there you go there I can expand it like that and also again I can use a two finger gesture to push it back now it might seem tough to do because I have a camera and one hand and I'm using one hand only but however if you have both hands free you can just use the thumb of both fingers and it's relatively easy to do so so this sets up a lot of notification space on the notification area let me take a screenshot over there okay so that the screenshot is taken okay now that the screenshot is taken you will see a huge notification which takes up a lot of space in the notification area so what you can again do is use the two hand gesture 
to shorten up the notification to just get a shorter hand notification like that so it's pretty handy so that's a new feature on the Android Jelly Bean and one more is be the Google Now like on this ROM also the Google Now works perfectly now you need a zip file or the G app a zip file which you can find in the description below along with the ROM link over there and this works perfectly on the Galaxy Mini however you'll see that it shares a new version is available of the Google Now so if you go to download it from Google Now you will see that it's not compatible with this device which is true this is a custom made Google Now for the, our devices and I hope you'll have to run this outdated version so, however the voice search doesn't work over here as you'll see it will keep on showing initializing initializing and nothing will happen and you'll just have to go back now this from does comes or the G apps zip does comes with a voice search over there it should be here somehow there you go there's a voice search but I personally I have used it and it's not quite useful first it loads up over here then it gives a standard voice search menu there you go let me speak something to it okay wake me up at 5 so I spoke wake me up at 5 to the phone it's still working and as you can see it gives nothing and it goes directly to Google now which I didn't expect there you go it should have given an alarm settings at 5 which didn't happen which would have happened with other CM9 ROMs or with your gingerbread ROMs so the voice search is a pretty let down over here the GPS works pretty fine and along with your Wi-Fi too however the Wi-Fi portable hotspot won't work so that's with this review keep watching and look forward for the next video where I'll be explaining how to change the settings for the para android and the AOKP ROMs thanks for watching subscribe us for more